Locking rats and roaches. We got to talk about Rings of Power season two. Bruh. You know, I've been seeing a lot of criticism talking about some. It's not too lore accurate and whatnot. But listen, Rabbit like to see the magic. I like seeing magic, bro. Nani? I think somebody just crashed outside. Either that or somebody's running from the cops. Why are you running? But either way, it can't stop the show. The show must go on. You understand? Let Gandalf wheel his broomstick, bro. <laughs> We gotta address the Galadriel situation where she just running around acting like she female protagonist. She freaking Furiosa, I guess. I don't know. What's that lady off of help? Resident Evil. I don't want uh, Laura Croft, maybe? That's not Resident Evil, though. But yo, Shorty is acting a little bit strange in here right now. I'm imagine the scene, right? You got the Elf King standing up on the whatnot, looking all elvish. And then you got freaking Elrond <laughs> yeah, sneaking boy. up from behind him. He, he like a little creech. You know what I mean? And then Galadriel walking there like a little angsty teenager and whatnot he talking about some elrond took the rings folks said all right that's cool but this dude that you've been running around with that made the rings right what's his name she acting like she don't want to answer cuz bro the man asked her three times who is folks for like candy man who is folks who is folks what's his name uh he's been he's not a man he's been masquerading as a man and he's really a goofy in disguise. Yo! One more motherfucking time, you goof, bro. I gave two chances, baby. It ain't no dope. Just say it's Sauron, right? All of that could be avoided, dog, right? The, the time he spent in freaking Aragion tricking Calabrimbor and whatnot, he could have sent two pigeons over there. You know, a message, a warning or something. You can't tell me it can't be done. You got flying eagles. We gonna address the eagles too. But we got flying eagles that can talk and they big as hell, right? The horses that can run across continents to track their masses and whatnot. Save them from the clutches of evil. Bruh, okay. And then she wanted to 1v1 cuz, cuz what? You thought she was gonna be the angel in a fist fight? Imagine that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. That is dumb. She got slapped off of a piece of rock, dog. Slapped to lower level. She got slapped uh, off the high ground. You get what I'm saying? Stay in your lane, fam. He tricked you once. He gonna trick you again. You already got the warning. Why are you doing it? It's crucial, bro. It's crucial, man. I don't really get that part, but shout out to her, dog. Shout out to her. I like seeing strong women. She damn near fell in love with bro. Looking them all googly dyed and whatnot. And the only reason she pissed is because bro said he ain't even he ain't, he ain't want that. He ain't even swing that way. He don't, he asexual. You know what I'm saying and that's why she pissed off she trying to get her get back because she felt that she was being used and whatnot no goofy he was evil the whole time all you had to do was look at him right just turn around and look he behind you he in the shadows is he brooding okay he probably evil dumb man uh, like yo dumb as hell we on we on get to sauron and, and, and calibre board too and the eagles makes no sense bro. we gotta talk about sauron y'all I don't understand why he had to hold a little electoral debate to, for the orcs. Like, aren't they like peasants or something in Middle Earth? Why do you need to convince them of anything, right? You like the Dark Lord. You should be, be able to just wave your hand. Wave a dark finger or something. A, a gnarly finger. Take my hand. Ah, come on. And they do as you bid. Right? I don't get that. They stabbed him up, y'all. I'm talking about a jumpins. If you ever seen JJK, you know what I'm talking about. They held nothing back. They actually put in two jokes at the end. Like, after all of them done stabbed him up, there's like two more that just like jooked off on him and got back. They just eased off a little bit like Fat Joe. Yeah, I don't understand why he needs to convince them of anything. Like, they're not, I don't know. They're kind of smart. In Rings of Power, they make them kind of smart. They had like babies. I saw like a or baby and a wife. Oh, and then an or God. husband. Like, y'all got families? That's supposed to be evil. I don't, okay, bro just got his throat sliced. Instant. Now, this is the part I don't understand, right? You can transform into anything you want. And you get stabbed up by a little bit of orcs? He should have transformed into, like, a big old crackhead or something. Start swinging. Oh, shit. What is that? And I don't get how Adar got the stab off, but the little orc bro didn't. I feel like he was more sneaky with it. Look, transform, my bro. Get up out of there, bat. Look, he just backhand one into the wall, backhand another one. Could you imagine if he was like 10 foot tall? Everyone would have been backhanded. It's like simple physics. One thing about it, though, they did stab him up. They chefed him up properly. Like, look, two extra jokes. You know, in movies, they don't they don't ever put in the extra jokes. They'll like slap the bad guy and like think he's dead. Like, come on, man, go finish him. You, you know he ain't dead. You gonna run off and he gonna get right up. He priority got up. Yeah. And now you run the risk of him coming back. I don't even understand what like, what do they think? 
think he is because we know he's like an angel being stuff so like you stab him up and whatnot he's just gonna come back and when he comes back what you think gonna happen he gonna be pissed probably most likely that you stabbed him up in his back i don't understand how he allowed himself to get stabbed up like that i don't even understand why he was talking to him to the the oryx looking like a little elf dude he should have been like ted bundy or something like you know r kelly in the corner something terrifying i don't get it you know what i'm saying if he transformed into r kelly dog every one of them would have been screwed i'm telling you that but anyways man shout out to the, it's his powers you know what i mean it's his who am i i don't know i'm just a little mortal i put my ariana grande shirt on now and stuff man oh lord come on on to the next point <laughs> We gotta discuss the Alfarazan situation, right? Him and Numenor plotting and scheming like he's some Machiavellian demon type dude. I don't freaking know. I think he read the prince. Yo, let me just say this. They say Numenor is supposed to be some, what, technologically advanced place with some crazy people. They they live, what, hundreds of years. Everybody want to be like them and whatnot. They like the LeBron or something of Middle Earth, right? I don't know how they can't peep that bro is evil, right? Every time you see him speaking to something, he's in a corner. The shadow is on him his whole freaking thing says evil look he got a little hairstyle the hair come down like this down the middle there's no other thing on the other part of his face you understand it's just one down here the rest back here that's typical evil hairstyle y'all evil next thing his eyebrows that's what it was i was trying to re remember and then i remembered he got the eyebrows <laughs> In me power. <laughs> the evil eyebrows. They curl up and shit like that. Come on, bro. We well, can't read in between the lines or something? Okay, good. So the eagle fly in right when the whole ruckus riot is popping off. They talking about some black magic, dark magic. First of all, right? Y'all do know that they have good magic. How you know it's dark magic? You just jump into conclusions, right? That's the first thing. That was dumb. The eagle fly in. Pop was squat outside of the whole freaking situation. Lift his wing up a couple times flaps screeches ah. bro walks up the evil dude right everybody think he the king now now let me tell y'all why that doesn't make sense right these eagles can talk people no 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 they could talk like english if you wanted to speak mandarin they probably could speak mandarin if you want them to you could teach them to why don't you please just speak english maybe i can understand you they're like highly intelligent, right? And guess where they come from? The land of the gods. You know who they lord? Manway. All right, little lesson. If y'all don't know who this is, he like the Zeus of them peoples, right? Good. The birds belong to him. He can see everything in Middle Earth. With his wife, he can see and hear everything. Damn near, right? He couldn't see bro scheming and plotting and being evil. Then the birds, and then you be like, all right, when, the, when you pull up, tell him the girl's the right leader. The bird pulled up, didn't say Jack Diddley nothing. Come Come on now, dog. Come on, man. He walked up and took rulership, I guess. I suppose. He can talk. The bird can talk. I don't understand that, bro. That's crazy as hell. He can talk. Well, I'm not really some woke individual and whatnot, but this scene in particular stood out to me. You understand? Let me describe the scene. Let me shut the mood for you. You got five elves walking through a dark forest, right? Three Caucasian elves, one Asian elf, and one African Eldarian. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what an African Eldarian is, is a black elf. What did he say? You get what I'm saying? All right, good. We set the foundations, right? That is bull trap okay so they're walk they're walking through the forest the african aldarian says hey i don't know if we should go through here this looks kind of dangerous the caucasian elf said nah bro we good okay good couple seconds later events unfold things happen guess who gets snatched up the african aldarian mm-hmm yeah he got snatched out of everybody he was the one that dropped the warning right now i ain't really like a professor or anything i might be don't ask me where i got my certifications and stuff from don't worry about that but listen, I'm doing the maths right now. You got three Caucasian elves, one Asian elf, and one African Eldarian. Bro, you can at least drop one of the Caucasian elves. Am I right or wrong? You got two minorities in there. Let the man live. He the one that even gave the warning. Snatch the one up that said, nah, it's good. Right? That would make a little bit of sense. I guess Middle Earth can't have that, you know? I don't know, dog. Shout out to Middle Earth, dog. They turning up proper. And the way he died wasn't even like some simple stuff. He got, it went like, come here from freaking scorpion from mortal kombat dragged him to his knees 
he's there scratching and for dear life dragged him into a dark hole all you hear is <laughs> crunched up if this ain't some bullshit hold on y'all gonna have me take these dang glasses off bro listen i'm all for listen 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 y'all had me when y'all introduced the african aldarians i like that oh inclusivity yeah, cool but why you gotta get snatched up bro which leads me on to another topic that i just gotta get off my chest Mr. Obama elf. Yes, it's him, folks. The one we all voted for in 28... Tw wait, 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 what was it? 2008? <laughs> all right, good. Here's my problem with him. Around there. I don't know why I did the quotations and whatnot, but here's my problem with him, man. You see how the African Eldarian got crunched up? He should have been done for, right? And I have a little suspicion that the only reason he got enough all this scream time is that, look at his hair, y'all. I don't see enough naps. What? You see what I'm saying? You could probably comb through that with ease. Something in it, y'all. I ain't trying to say nothing, but what the hell, bro? Man's got stabbed up. He been hunting Adar for a while now, right? They finally meet. All right, 1v1. Uh, uh, uh. Damn! Bam, he gets stabbed in the chest. The next scene? Good. Fantastic. I don't know how elf magic works, but I know it's not that damn good. He just got impaled through his heart, bro. He should be done. Come on, bro. And then you get the full African at 100%. You know where he come from. You know where his descendants come from. He get crunched up, snatched into oblivion, and turned into wood chips. Okay, that cool, I guess. Shout out to Obama elf, bro. I like Obama elf. I ain't prejudiced or nothing. I'm just saying, that's crazy. That was crazy how that happened. He just got juked up and then next thing up, there's a Ron there. Wait, but didn't you get stabbed up? Like, wait. Right. I ain't going to Middle Earth. That's all I'm saying. I ain't buying no plane ticket. Save y'all money. It don't make no damn sense. Dude is a goofy. Yeah, you know who we talking about. Calibrim dork. Folks is like top goofy in this show right now. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine this, people. You have a dark lord trying to rule the whole continent. He is known for trickery, for deceiving, for lying, right? Okay, good. You're in your little elf palace, building your little elf trinkets, and then one of your little elf peasant people come up to you and says, oh, you know, there's a guy outside? He said, nah, send him away. All right, good. A week later, bro, still out there, in the rain. All right, you say, bring him in. I guess he's persistent. Mm, I guess. Remember, there's a dark lord on the loose, people. Okay, good. You bring him to the thing, start questioning him and whatnot. You say, who are you really? Okay, the fact that you have to ask that. Okay, good. Lord of deception and trickery. Okay, good. Bro proceeds to blow a window open, disappear, and talk through a fire. Folks, slow walk down the step. Jesus, is that you? I'm not like, I want to be like 100% IQ guy here, but I don't know. Maybe that's the Dark Lord of Trickery? Maybe? Maybe he tried to sneak his way in here so he can do some scheming and plotting. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just a little mortal peasant dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm just human. I ain't a elf but here's the thing right he comes and says he's the lord of gifts okay where's your resume what other gifts you give you come here talking about some make rings and whatnot why should i make rings Where, where's the other people who standing on this who vouching for you you is not known in the hood shirty what is you saying where your resume on his thing it should say boop bop i did a magic ring way back when when i was like 16 and that made people disappear and then by 20 i moved up a little bit and then i forged like a hammer and then if it slap you in the head, you disappear. And then I made at like 22, I made a little chisel. And if I slap you in the head with it, you disappear. Where's his resume, y'all? He ain't got none. Now you in this workshop building magic trinkets to give out to the whole of the continent so they can be powerful. He just that nice, huh? Nah, 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 nah. He just that good. How come the Valar didn't send like a little warning before? They're like, all right, we gonna send a little couple people. Why he just surprises like that? I don't know. Maybe he's the Dark Lord y'all been looking for all this time. Maybe he's come to a uh, plot and scheme in your kingdom and have you make him some rings. Some rings that'll probably dominate the leaders of Middle Earth. And then when they dominate it, y'all all gonna be peasant slaves. Just a thought, though. You know, just, just a thought. That's all I'm saying, right? Turn this whole factory of little wood elves and stuff against them. That's crazy as hell, bro. That crazy as hell. Whose fault is it? I don't know. Maybe you 
should have been a little bit more perceptive. Like, all the the things were there. He blew the window open and all that. Man, come on, man. Come on, bro. You gotta come better than that, man. Turn water into wine or something. Now, let's address the dwarves, right? Is it me or are the dwarves societal rejects of Middle Earth or something? Like, you feel me? It's like you pull up to their crib. They live under a mountain. Like a big rock. You live under a rock? Okay, good. That's kind of weird, but all right. You, you know, to each his own. You pull up to the rock house. All they ever talk about is rocks. All y'all do is look for rocks down here, bro. It's more to life than rocks, dog. Like, you pull up to this. He be like, yo, let me show you this little new rock I found. He be like, that's cool, bro. But where the door of holes at? They show you the door of holes. I don't know if this. What this is? Transformers, Decept Rise of the Decepticons or something? What's going on? Yo, they not hitting, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I probably get me a little dwarf thing. I probably do that for the one time or something. Who? How y'all coming with that one? I don't know. They kind of, they low and they thick, but they kind of hairy. Like, I don't know, bro. I just think they just a little bit weird. Like, bro, it's more to life than rocks. We could do more things, you know? We could climb trees. Yes. We can ride horses. Mm-hmm. We do some stuff. Get out a little bit. They don't ever leave from under that rock. They The, the dwarf holes even sing to rocks. You get what I'm saying? It's a problem, yo. Shout out to them, though. I like them. They little, they little hardworking. They, they kind of gritty, though. Like, when he denounced his royalties and whatnot, and he had to get down there with the peasant dwarves, they jacked him up, bro. I don't think they showed the whooping, but they whooped on him. They whooped him. Pump him. They did. Did that to him. Feel me? That's crazy as hell, dog. Crazy as hell. What's even crazier is that they live on a, a freaking demon. Their, their whole little rock house is built on top of a demon and then he woke up and and and, and cooked folks pop like quite literally too because it's made of fire you know what i'm saying yeah he got cooked he went out tough though that's one thing about it they tough they little tough little things they just got too much going on with the rocks like yo come on bro i ain't come over here to talk about rock though where the playstation at i don't know dog. shout out to the dwarves bro shout out to the dwarves of middle earth and prince doran got a little black dwarf john that good chicken right there bro all right, guys, this is going to be the last thing I addressed about this show. And let me just say this, too. I like the show, too. You know what I'm saying? I like seeing all the magic. But Tom Bombadil, what is his deal, bro? It's like they put him into the show just to, 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 to mind fuck you or something. Like, I don't get it. Bro, speak straight. The man need his stick to wield his powers so he could go save his little cheering friend. What is we doing? My man put him on a quest, but he didn't really put him on a quest. He just jumbled his mind and took up time and i ain't a rapper y'all but what is his whole deal dog i understand you like before creation and you know things beyond stuff but can you just tell the man that the stick is over there you gotta get through here to get the stick but you have to realize that you like a little demigod person you know and, and then once you realize that you can wield the stick you gonna you gonna realize things and then you could go you not put on here to really just exert your powers like that you supposed to do it a little bit subtle like lead them guide them not really lead them but guide him a little bit. You know what I'm saying, dog? But the stick is over there. The whole time, bro, trying to figure out what the hell he's saying. I'm trying to figure out what the hell he's saying. What are you talking about, bro? My man asked him, is there somebody else here? He gonna talk about something. There's nobody else here in this room. But I don't know what he said. He did some riddle, bro. It screwed me up. And he, I don't know why Shorty playing games. Is this somebody in the crib or not, bro? And property tax is probably crazy as hell. Don't let Sauron take control for real. He gonna, gonna skyrocket. <laughs> <laughs> he just turned paper into bread. Is that bread? That's like sourdough. I'm convinced they're in Jerusalem. He never has a straight answer for you, dog. It's not much you can say about Tom Bombadil, man. The man is just a one big mind fuck. Don't ask him no questions. Don't ask him for directions. Don't ask him crap. You just gonna come out more confused. Don't do it. And shout out to him and his Willy Winkle, Titty Gripper Linkle. I don't know what he said. All right, guys. With all that being said, I guess I gotta give you my take on the show now. I like the show, man. Like, on a scale of 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it like an 8. You know, it's not the most lore accurate and whatnot. But, you know, y'all need to stop being such hard critics, dog. Just enjoy the magic. Sit back. Open up. Spread them things. Police! Police! Help! Relax a little bit. Let it happen, man. We just just be happy. We can see some magic. You can see Sauron doing things, shape-shifting. 
you know, for the longest, we had just a little big dark figure to look at. And that was cool and all, but like, dang, cuz, we want to see you transform into stuff. And then you got Gandalf doing his magic, making trees explode. That's always cool. I like magic, man. You know, it's not the most lore accurate, but you just got to enjoy it for what it is, people. Relax. You too hype. You too, you too hype. Calm down. Dang. I said be calm, be calm. Sean, we relax. That's your problem. That's why we can't have good things. But anyways, man, if y'all liking the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I got some more stuff I'm cooking up. I'm thinking about doing like the black goo from Aliens. That thing is crazy as hell, bro. It's like Ozempic or something.